Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is for you. And welcome back to another Daisy super detailed walkthrough. Probably I would class this one as an intermediate walkthrough. We're on the coast, but we're somewhere special. A point of interest you might want to work your way towards, particularly if you've got maybe, I don't know, 50 hours, 100 hours plus in the game. You had a nice little Chernogorsk spawn. Make your way along the coast. Keep the sea. Keep the ocean on your left hand side as you go west. And you'll eventually go through a few towns. And you'll be opposite this little beauty. Prison Island where you can find all sorts of goodies. Now notice where I am up on the rocks. I've made my way across purely for this beautiful view. You can go a bit higher up and get an even better view, if you like, of the coast, where you've come from. And I'll insert, at this moment, a little shameless plug for the channel. If you do drop a like on these videos, it is appreciated. Motivates me to do some more guides. If you're not already subbed, why not hit that sub button? We're trying to get over 1,500 subs, probably by the end of the weekend. That would be nice. By the time this video goes out, we should be pretty close. And we do stream on the channel Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. UK time. Mainly hardcore Daisy servers, but we do mix it up from time to time. I'm on an official server today, the one we've done most of our guides on, and I'll put the server details in the description. Now, if you're lucky enough to have some binos, this is all going to be very situational. It depends how well you've done with your looting, but this is what we've got so far. Shotgun with red shells, a longhorn with some 308, a chambered M-lock, which is going to be great over here to kill the zombies, potentially. But this is all going to be depending on how well you've done so far with your looting. Hopefully you're all in the white. You've got food and water because there's not a well on the island. And you are going to have to do a little bit of swimming, but I'm going to show you my preferred way of getting across the water. You can see all these islands. But over here, with the use of the PU scope, or your binos, whatever you've got, you can see these fishing boats. There's another one there. There's a little shed. Maybe you hug the coast. I tend to get quite lucky on these. Find a fishing hook, maybe a can of soda, etc. Can of monk. And then you can work your way along to where we're going to go to eventually. But if you overlook from here, maybe you'll get lucky or unlucky if someone spots you first. You'll see someone on their way back from the island. Maybe they're looting these fishing boats down here on their way to the next little town, which is just through those trees. Have a little overwatch. There's a potential for a military convoy spawn on this road. You might get super lucky and find yourself a military convoy, but we haven't got one today. I don't think players would render in from this distance. Or zombies? If a player was over on Prison Island looting now, you may be able to see zombies. And if you do, that would suggest there is a player already there. So hold tight, get ready. But we're going to make our way over. And I'm going to show you the way that I prefer to cross. And keep the swim as short as possible. Bear in mind, you might go from hugging the coast around this big island that we're looking at now until you eventually look look at that little one. Aim for that one on the right. That's where we're going to go. But when you're in these more popular points of interest where there is good loot, there's a potential to get an M16 over there, potential to get an SKS. So players are going to want to go and loot it. So even if you're on a server that's got 20 players or 60 players, Best to assume at all times you're not going to be alone over on the island. And obviously we're doing this in one take. So let's... Actually, I would love to see some shenanigans over this. But whether we see someone or not, I'll just show you my preferred way of looting. You're probably not going to get somebody talking to you on this island, wanting to be your friend. I mean, wonders may never cease on official. But assume always it's going to be KOS. You see someone first, best probably shoot first and ask questions later. 
I'm going to try and talk it through. I don't want to teach grandma how to suck eggs. Like I say, this is sort of an intermediary rather than a beginner, beginner walkthrough. But I'll try and keep it super detailed and explain everything that I'm doing and why. Now you can run across here. And you shouldn't go into, he says, you shouldn't go into the swimming animation. You'll get your feet wet, but that doesn't matter because we're going to get the whole body wet soon. I oh, know he is swimming. Okay. <laughs> doesn't matter. Like I say, we're going to get soaking wet soon anyway. But you are now exposed. Anyone looking at these from these rocks, camping, overwatching, let's put it politely, is going to see you. So keep moving. Maybe you want to variate. You're running. A little bit of zigzagging. The amount of stamina you'll have will obviously be dependent on how much loot you carry. And I'm carrying quite a lot. I don't actually be in, like being this low, about 65% stamina. But it is what it is. We're carrying the guns we got for a reason. We'd love to find some 7x39 so that we can make the carbine an option. I'm going to pull my gun out, my close quarters gun, because you never know. Somebody might have swum over already, having looted, and they might be sitting in a tree, drying off their clothing. So it's at this point that I would suggest getting ready to rumble, basically, at any moment. So see how I've hugged the right-hand side? You might be able to make out the next town. I believe that is Comarovo over there. Just down the coast, then, you've got what some people call West Evac. The, the military tents that can also spawn some very, very good loot. Maybe in the next video, if we survive this, we'll keep it intermediary and we'll show where I would usually go next after loot in Prison Island. But I've died a few times over here. We've got into some fights. It's very much a toss of a coin of what's going to happen. I believe there's about 25, 26 people on the server. It's only 10 a.m. in the UK, so it is quite early. And there's a player. Just like that. Did he see me then? I don't think he saw me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no. Yeah, I think he did. Oh my god, he didn't see me. Now this is a dirty tactic. Now you can think what you want about this. If I shoot him in the water, I'm not going to get any of his loot, okay? If I shoot him when he comes out of the water, we can loot him. Now you can put your comments in the chat. If you're not happy with what you're about to see, we may fluff up our lines <laughs> oh dude has he got a friend we don't know he didn't look like he had a friend but we're going to sort of assume he has got a friend. We're going to take the sniper rifle because it's got ammo in it. Well, that is so unlucky for that dude. I can't tell you how unlucky that is. 5.56. Five, 5.56. Six. Five, five, six. I'm only taking the ammo I want. Oh, we could have ammo for our carbine. But look, there's plenty of ammo for the SSG. We'll take the food. This guy didn't have any protection on him. Plenty of bandages, but no protection. We'll take that for our stab vest. And has he got... Let's take that one, because it's he's got a mag for our Glock. It's not a good mag, but it's a mag regardless. We actually need that. I think this is me making the noises on the rocks that you can see, but... Rip, dude. I do feel a bit sorry for him. It's one of those... You're in a KOS part of town, should we say. But what can I say?
don't need that on there now because we've got the sight. I'm tempted to drop the Longhorn. Keep the 308 ammo. We've now got an SSG with a sight for range. And he's got a mag in there fully, fully loaded, ready for us. Poor guy. Now, we've made a lot of noise, so if anybody else was over there, if he did have a friend, they may be in Discord. They may say, look out for this dude. This SOB has just killed me. Wait for him on the other side. He's probably going to come over. Now, we're probably not going to find a lot of loot over here. If I was doing a normal, quote-unquote, run, I'd probably move on now, because this guy has looted the island for us. Think of it that way. But I want to show you my preferred route and how I like to loot around Prison Island, so we're going to go over anyway. And we're just going to let that adrenaline rush wash over us. I can't wait for the scripted comments below. And GG's to that guy. He was coming over to the island, my preferred route. So he obviously likes swimming over from this direction as well, rather than going from over there. And the reason being... As you will see, it doesn't take very long. Probably two power swims with our stamina as it is, about 65%. A little breaststroke. Let the stamina regen. Let's see if we get the instant karma when we get to the other side. <laughs> get clapped by his friend. We'll see. But we did give him a couple of opportunities to spot us when we were popping our noggin over the, over the rock there. Just unlucky for him. He didn't see us. Why did I switch from the Longhorn? I noticed he didn't have any protection, so the Longhorn probably would have killed him. But he was sprinting. The Longhorn is chambered. You only get one chance to shoot. And rather than just press R to reload my shotgun, which I did when I hit him with the first one, like a glancing blow. It would have taken longer to re reload the Longhorn and a lot more difficult to hit him with a hip fire shot. The buckshot gives me room for error, which is why I switched to the pumpy. Good old pumpy. Now, as soon as you get over, your clothes are obviously going to be soaking wet. So put them in your hand. If you're on PC, hold left mouse button and you will wring out your clothing. This won't get you completely dry, particularly with it being raining now. But it will give you a little bit of boost on your stamina, because you won't be soaking, dripping wet, overly heavy from soaked, drenched clothing. It'll also give you a slightly lesser chance of catching a cold, shivering, sneezing, giving away your position when you're looting Prison Island. Not 100% guarantee, but while your health and your blood is full white, your hydration and your hunger is in the white, keeping your clothes as dry as possible will give you a better chance of not getting sick. But like I say, it's not a guarantee. It takes a little bit of time. You need a little bit of patience here. But I think it's worth it in the long run. If you want to rewind the video and check what my stamina bar was looking like before I wrung out my clothing, by all means do so. Look at what the difference is by the time we're finished. And also, why didn't I like loot that guy more thoroughly? It's for the purposes of the video. We want to keep, we want to get cracking. This is the main show. That was the appetizer showing you Prison Island and the way that I personally like to loot it is the main course. If it were you and you were on a big five, six, seven, eight hour Daisy mission. Ammer in Daisy today. It's a Sunday, so why not? You've settled into your gaming chair for a big long Daisy session, then by all means you could have looted him a lot more thoroughly than I just did. But I just grabbed what I wanted and I've left. So I didn't forget that I picked that up. We're gonna fully load it up. And we've got a gun cleaning kit on us, which is handy. So we can now fix this up to worn. And we've got a really nice zombie killing gun suppressed. So we won't make too much noise like we just did over there. It's actually about 12 midday in server time. 
in game time. It is overcast. There's no need for gamma. We're going to leave it as it is. You can see what I see through my eyes. Let's do a little bit of inventory management, but I'm not going to go crazy. Like I said, I'm wary of the time. And that I want to keep this video not as short as possible, but, you know, we don't want to go crazy. I'm not, I don't need the 380. The 9mm, the 45, the 556, a little M16 mag. More 556. Got some 7x3, 9. Although we drop the CR, we might find an SKS. You know? Some tracer rounds. Okay. So, gun out. This guy could have had a mate who's now hunkering down and waiting for us to get revenge. First things I do after drying off, loot these little sheds. There's a nice dry bag if you want a ridiculously bright colored bag that will give you away a mile off. It's up to you. But these have got the tendency to spawn some fairly decent stuff. Little military container here. Always glance over there. Someone could be ahead of you. I've seen a guy running right to left out of that shed before. There's a tactical belt which we didn't have and we can put our canteen on that belt. Save a little bit of inventory space. Make sure, yeah, our stab vest doesn't need fixing up before we get into any gunfights. That poor guy panicked hard then, didn't he? Didn't even have a chance to pull his gun out and defend himself. But it is what it is. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world where when you're in a KOS area like Prison Island, it's kill or be killed, to be honest with you. Nice bit of action, even if we die looting this island now. At least we had a little bit of fun in games at the beginning. So then you've got this military container to loot. Another belt. And finally this shed. But like I say, you're going to probably find more loot than I do today. Because we've just witnessed a guy first hand swim back over from the island. So we can assume, unless the loot respawns pretty quickly and we were far enough away, we're probably not going to find a lot, but... You know, the main purpose of this video is to show you how directionally I loot it. So I always crouch when I get to about here. I cut up through the rocks. I'm going to get my suppressed weapon ready. Because I'm expecting zombies. And then we approach these little civilian barracks. There are three of them. And I'm assuming there could be someone in them. So I don't want to sprint up this hill with my big sized hens giving away my position. Maybe you could come up here and listen. I can hear a zombie immediately. Full wide. Have a look. There we go. Expect three, four, five zombies here. Especially if you didn't get into any shenanigans like we just did. There would probably be more zombies. But I'm guessing our friend dealt with them. This is where the suppressor, particularly in the rain, where it muffles our footsteps, is going to be beautiful. All right, we can just deal with them as they're in our way. Don't need to shoot him yet. We'd come in. Obviously, we might be just picking up scraps that our friend didn't want. We're going to pick some pristine hunting boots up. Nice. Some 308 tracer. I'm sure we've got that already, but I'm not going to worry about my inventory. You do your own inventory management, as I say, and I'm repeating myself. I just want to show you how I like to loot the prison. I don't go in every building, right? I don't go in that little green shed, the little blue tin over there. You can see the roof. I'm going to just go for the good stuff, okay? You you do what you want to do if you want to be super thorough. Woolen gloves, I'm taking them because they're dry. My other ones were damp. There's a chicken over there. Beautiful place to fish. Why didn't our friend pick up the stab vest? I bet he wishes he did now. Another belt. More ammo. Looks like the ammo has respawned. Yeah, towards the back of the island. Not a lot of people go to the back of the island. Maybe we'll give maybe we'll give you a little look at it and show you. I've fished a lot of times over on this island, and it may seem on the face of it a bit dangerous to do that. But you'd be surprised how few people bother going towards the back of that island. 
Maybe I should be rocking the shotgun now that we've put the two zombies down. Assault boots are nice because they give you a slot for your knife. Save some space in the inventory. Chicken's desperate to be caught, isn't he? Little army pouch bag there if you wanted to swap yours out. I probably do, but I'm not going to. I probably would if I was, uh, quote-unquote, taking this a bit more seriously. Now, these Vega mags, Saiga mags, whatever you want to call them, will always contain, well, nearly always, red buckshot. So we're emptying those out for sure. There's a little bag. Don't know why there's a hiking jacket in it. That doesn't spawn like that. That's the type of bag that our friend had on. A couple of zombies there milling around. The next place we're going to go for is the prison. The camo prison there. The doors are open. Our friend probably left them open for us. I hug the right-hand side here. If somebody comes out into the open, they, they finish looting, and they're coming back around that guard shack. We want to stay away from them. So we use these trees as cover. We'll leave the chicken alone today. We've got lovely cans of sardines off that fella. And before you go rushing straight for that door, have a look at this little cheeky spot down the back of the prison. It goes all the way back around. And before you get tunnel visioned into going in there, why not creep around the back? Keep your ears open. Bit difficult when it's peeing down with rain. But what you're also doing is you're not rushing in. You're thinking ahead. Where am I going next? I'm going to cross this bridge eventually and go to the prison, right? Why not have a look? Can I see someone running across the bridge now? They've already done their looting. I can see a zombie. Is anybody up on top of there looking to take our head off when we cross the bridge? Now we've got this beautiful scope. And also, if you're unlucky, you might see that based off. I've been on multiple servers where they've turned the main prison building into a base, which is very frustrating. But it looks like we're lucky today. And we're not going to have the misfortune of only being able to loot half of Prison Island. Although, you know, you can find some good stuff in those barracks, in this prison building anyway, but it's very annoying if you can't loot the main, the main building itself. Even though we killed a guy on the way over, we're not, and the doors are open, we're not assuming that we're home free. We are going to shut the door behind us. We're going to listen. Can I hear anybody shuffling about upstairs? Nobody camping under the stairs. And then when we come to this point, we want our gun up here. Very, very common spot for people to hold. Wait for you to run past this corridor, shoot you in the back. Hold this for a little bit. Nothing doing. More 308. Another utility backpack. Obviously another room for us to clear here. Check inside the backpack. There might be food or ammo. Ground floor seems clear and empty. And when I clear the stairs, people probably know I'm, we're here already. We shut the door, so it's pointless creeping, taking your shoes off or anything. So I'm waiting. Is anybody going to show their face? We can get an early shot in. Top of the stairs, turn around. Again, like I say, real popular place for people to hold. Do a little shuffle back and forth. If you come up here and you start to see the top of someone's head, boom, you get a nice early shot in. That's the most common spot. If no one's there, they're probably not in here. But, again, don't assume anything. FX mag. A shovel. And nothing else. Okay, so, we come out of here. Somebody could be trailing us. So, I'm not going to be blasé. I'm looking ahead. That zombie seems chill. He doesn't seem aggravated by anybody who might be following our footsteps. The rain is stopping. So I'm going to hug the wall. I'm going to check another popular potential camping spot. Which is this little hole, cubby hole, whatever you want to call it, here. Nothing doing. And then we're going to search this police shack. But we're going to get our suppressed weapon out. Plenty of zombies that could ruin our day. I'm going to stop. 
I'm going to wait for this zombie to stop, then we're going to take him out. Switch back to the shotgun. We've made noise. Anybody in here now knows where we're about. Scan down the bridge. Is anyone running towards us? Is anyone camping the tower? Doesn't look like it. Someone's taken their shoes off before they came into the building. It's very nice of them. Nobody holding the toilet. And we, we seem pretty good. Okay, you're going to find more loot than me. I'm going to take the black jungle boots. Don't forget your knife. Oh. Haven't the jungle boots... Oh, they haven't. They haven't got a knife slot. Okay, I still prefer them. Next one. We're going over the bridge. So this is a dangerous bit. I'm glancing back down. Can I see anybody following us? Is anybody creeping? Really trying to do a number on us. Doesn't look like it. That zombie over there, there's two of them. They look really chill. I'd be surprised if someone's hiding in the bush to the right, but they could be. But I'd be surprised because of the chill nature of those zombies. Gas canister, electrical repair kit. Preferential choices, I'm not taking them. I'm looking down here. A popular place to swim across is from there over to those boardwalks. A couple of fishing boats to loot. People go into that shed to dry their clothing. So are we going to catch somebody else swimming towards us? Did they hear the shots? That zombie seems chill. You could get very unlucky and someone could just come sprinting out of the main prison. So be on your guard. We're going to crouch so that zombie doesn't aggro. And there's a flare if you want to get a nice easy fire down the road. Dry your clothes off. I actually don't think we've got anything to start a fire with, have we? So I'm going to take that. And I'm going to stay away from those zombies, right? Now, will I be able to get away with it altogether? I don't know. I'm going to slow the pace down a little bit. Adrenaline's still going from that gunfight. If you've played Daisy for any time at all, you'll know it can last a good 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> After you've got engaged like that, even though we had the full drop on that poor fella. Now, you could go behind the prison. If you want to get super, super detailed and thorough, you could go around the back of the prison. You can listen. Can you hear people shooting zombies inside or shuffling around? But for the purposes of the, you know, the time we've got on this video, I'm just going to go straight for the front door. We are going to have to deal with sunshine by here. Yeah? Good night. Even though it's a suppressed shot, anybody inside that prison would have heard that. Almost 100%. So we're going to be on guard for somebody holding the door. Some people like to sit under those little... See the little arches there? If somebody is sat there holding an angle, it's very difficult to fight back from this range. So be very wary. Okay, chilled zombie, good sign. Probably nobody in those arches, otherwise that would be the worst zombie I've ever seen. Not doing his job. Inside the main, check out for booby traps. People like leaving landmines, tripwires by there. I'm listening. Can I hear shuffling of feet, etc, etc. Check on these windowsills. They can spawn pioneers on all floors of the prison. Now this is again preference. I don't search every part of this main building. You will not find any good loot in the cells. Do not bother looting each individual cell. It's almost guaranteed you'll only find prisoner pants, prisoner hat, prisoner jacket. Don't waste your time. Other people, especially if you've made a shot like we did, could be heading this way. We want to loot and scoot. Like I said, I probably wouldn't have even looted this after dispatching that fella, but... I'm clearing this floor. I'm looking on the windowsills. Going up another level. This is just muscle memory now. The way that I loop this prison every single time that I come here. Now be, be wary of people holding the top here. Okay, so when you start getting up level after level, when you get to this bit, get ready to turn around on yourself. I'll show you what I mean in a second. You know, anyone could be holding an angle on these stairs. You get a lovely little view of the prison here. You could see someone crossing the little skywalk, sky bridge. Or just running out of that gate there. So have a little peek. Now, see the ledge here? 
somebody could shoot you in the back of the head if you're not careful. So get ready to turn. Is anybody there? If they are, boom. Good night. Are they holding the corner, the pillar? The curvature of this pillar? Let's check. All the way around. I'm pretty sure they're not. But we're clear. Now, they could be camping on the top of this. Wouldn't surprise me. We are on official, baby. Always check the edge. There you go. There's a scorpion mag. I found SSG rifles here. Our friend might have. Pump action shotguns right on the end there. And also, what a beautiful view of the island. Switch to your ranged weapon if you're lucky enough to have one with a scope. And you might see someone creeping on you. But don't spend too long there. I'm usually just using this as an overwatch again of the main entrance and exit to the back side of the prison. And I mentioned fishing earlier. I've often gone... I showed you how to go around the back of the prison if you wanted to really be sneaky sneaky and listen. I've followed it all the way around, all the way around that peninsula. And I've fished around the back of the island. I've even made a fire and cooked the fish on a long stick, a sharpened stick. And you'd be surprised how safe that is. You're almost hiding in plain sight because everybody who comes across the island will want to loot the good stuff. Why would they want to go around the back of the island where you're only going to find a couple of fishing boats. You'd have to be very unlucky to bump into someone around and outside of the main points of interest on this prison. So we're going to enter the prison itself. We're not going to spend too long this side. We're not going to go in this floor. We're going to go another, another floor down. When you're in line with the sky bridge. Stopping and listening. I could only hear zombies at the minute. There was nothing on the windowsills. I'm not spending any time going over there, but I'm obviously checking to make sure no one's holding an angle on us. Wouldn't be surprised. And I'm coming immediately right. I'm closing this door. I'm going across the sky bridge. All right, if somebody's camping up here and they, they're going to shoot me in the back, GG's. GFMG's. But you will find pioneers on this sky bridge. Oh, there you go. Bingo. So if I hadn't got the SSG with a ton of ammo, I might pick up that because I have got 5.56. Five, okay? It's loaded. It hasn't got a scope, though. And it hasn't got a magazine. So I'm just taking the round out. It might go, down an M it might go into an M16 of mine further down the line. And I'm leaving it. But the choice is yours. Obviously a personal choice. Check down the stairs. Quickly check this corner, but I'm not looting any of this. I don't tend to find anything of value. So I'm crouch walking again, making sure no one's holding the other side. That leads all the way around toward these stairs. A little peek down there. Quickly, I'm closing the gate. If someone comes behind us and walks a different way, they don't go across the bridge. They're going to now have to open that gate and I'll hopefully hear them before they see me. But I have come into these rooms before and been blasted in the face by a shotgun. So we are clearing every room thoroughly. And like I said, I feel like I've said this a million times before. If you haven't already engaged with someone leaving the prison you're going to find a lot more loot than i am today but this is the way i loot it you'll find sort of what i would call police loot here ssgs scorpions m locks nine mil 380 pioneers there you go fill your boots whatever you're out to collect whatever you're looking for whatever your gun set requires this is where you're going to get all the fat loot in terms of police loot, stab vests, maybe a press vest. There's an M-lock there. Now, these are the rooms I usually get shot in. <laughs> I've got so blasé by the time I've cleared this prison, I, I just don't even imagine somebody will be holding an angle on me in this room. Let alone stepping on a landmine, so make sure you watch your toes as well. Clear this final room. All right, we're good to go to the back side of the prison. So, chilled zombie there tells me, two of them, 
There's probably not a lot doing. Get rid of them. If you haven't got a suppressed weapon, you want to think about stealth killing with a knife. We've gone through how to do that in previous videos. Let's see if we can get this guy. Blade in your hand. Oh. <laughs> he hasn't read the script, have he? Unfortunate. Check those windows. Remember, we didn't bother going to that part of the prison. And I've engaged this zombie before he could scream. Okay? I've gone for him before he can scream. Alright. Stealth kill ain't happening. With the knife on knees, anyway. But you get up behind the zombie with your blade crouched. Hold right button and then click left button and you should perform, should perform the stealth kill. A little glance is somebody holding an angle from the window, being a little sneaky sneaky. Then you've got these this barracks out the back, right? A little sneaky place to hide down there. Closing the door behind me. Why am I doing that? A, someone who's following me close now has to open the door, potentially. But also, if I bump into someone in here and I have to shoot them, the zombie can't run in and ruin my day. How many times have you been killed because the zombies have got a little bit too interested in a gunfight that is none of their business? So close the door off. And unless you're playing a hardcore server where they can open doors, you won't have to deal with the zombies after you've hopefully won your gunfight. Battered Scorpion. Another Pioneer. Again, no magazine, no scope. We're not interested. I will check to see if it's got a round in it. Once I've cleared the building, it hasn't. How do I know it hasn't? There's no plus sign next to the word Pioneer. If it had a plus sign, there's either a round in the chamber, a scope on it, or a magazine, or all three. I don't want the scorpion mag, but I do want to check that brick building over there, even though it looks like an industrial building, where you might only find a screwdriver or nails. It does actually spawn, and has the potential to spawn police and military loot. That zombie scared the shit out of me then. Unless it's a player. Those runner zombies can sound very similar to a player sometimes. I think he just run in. I didn't even realize you could go around the back of you. Little sneaky spot in there. Not a bad place for a stash back there. Especially one you could bury, maybe. So we're going to probably have to deal with this guy. Right button, left button, stealth kill. Make sure no one's holding the stairs. Cheeky angle down the stairs where they will see you before you will see them. I'll show you that in a second if I can. Is anybody losing the loo? Nope. Little radar cap there for you. So, if I'm coming up the stairs, right, and someone peeks that, you think I've got a decent advantage on them. Because I'm holding this angle, I probably am. But if I'm not paying attention and I turn this corner, they've already seen a lot of me. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Once we've cleared it. All right. Nothing in the jacket. See how there's a plus sign next to the RL police pants? There's not there. That tells you there's something in the pants. So you don't have to tab in and check every item. If it's got the plus sign, then you tab in. Oh yeah, battery in the pants. Thank you very much. And some more 9mm for my little zombie killer. So I'm going to take this opportunity to refill the M uh, the M-lock. Because we've shot a few zombos. One in the chamber still. Refill. Because we've got to get out of here. Don't think your job is done now you've looted everything. Because that's us done in the prison now. We've looted everywhere that we want to loot, okay? Actually, I 
just noticed our suppressor is damaged. That's still pristine. With a gun cleaning kit, you can put your suppressors back up to worn. You don't want them failing on you at the worst possible time. And we're a bit unfortunate that we've got no water. So I'm, I am aware that we're on yellow water. The town that I showed you, which is further west on Morova, we're not far from it once we swim back to where we engage that guy. But I am still wary. I don't want to drop to... Um, well, we ruined them. I don't want to drop to red water, although the sardines will give us some hydration. And we can't fill up seawater, but we could fill up at a stream now because we've got chlorine. But the sardines would give us enough hydration until we got to Comorovo. Not the world's best shot, as uh, long-term viewers of the channel will know, but we've done okay today. There's nothing over there, by the way, on this unofficial servers, so don't even bother going over there. And am I going to be a little bit blasé here? Yes. If you want to crouch walk all the way back, by all means. But, I mean, even if we die now, I've showed you. The main thing I wanted to do is show you how I like to loot the pr prison and in what order. So even if someone claps us now, my job would be done. So we're going to be a little bit blasé leaving the prison. You can be a bit more careful. Because, of course, even though we've got all the way through the prison and it's clear, it doesn't mean to say that somebody is not following us. <clears throat> Excuse me. Following all the noise we made. Looking to get a nice easy kill on us when we swim back over. I'm going to hopefully show you the swim back over. <laughs> See if we get... Daisy Carmod live on camera. Make sure no one's holding an angle here. The zombies will tell me they're not. But if you've got zombies this side, right, you don't want to engage them. You can go this way. Now, there's nothing over here. It's blocked off. Keep an eye on somebody spying across the bridge like we were doing. Any decent player worth their salt will do that. But I'm going to hop the little wall. I'm careful some someone with a scoped weapon could be in the ground floor of the prison now looking at us. About to take our head off. So I'm going to move, make it harder for them to land a shot. And I'm going to come down this way. Zombie, great. I was just about to say, don't be too confident. Because you can get zombies down here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's another one. We can't see him yet, but he's down there. There he is. Now, if you've been in a fight there and you want to sort out some loot, I like coming down to the back of the island, but we want to leave the island. So I'm going to show you the way I like to go. Instead of going back across the bridge, bumping into someone who was following us, this is, in my opinion, a safer way of leaving. Come around the back. Now, this can be a little bit glitchy and fiddly. Hug the wall, and you may be forced into a swim animation. Doesn't matter. We're going to get wet anyway when we go back over. Hill chicken, desperate to get taken out. Check this if you want. If you need a little dry sack, you might find a can of soda there. That would have been nice in our predicament. Stay right down here. And if you're lucky, you're, f you're far enough away that if someone was following us, they took the same route up the bank and they're now looting those civilian barracks. They m probably won't hear our footsteps this close to the water, even in good conditions. But now be very careful. Oh, shit. Someone's decided to set up a little tent here. There we go. It looks like we've got a fellow fisherman. Someone who likes the fish on the backside of the island when they come across to Prison Island. I love it. I respect that. But remember the, the route we took when we first swam over searching these buildings? What if someone's doing the exact same route, but the op you know we're opposite to it now? Be very, very careful when you get to this dock area. Keep your eyes on stalks. Head on a swivel. I'm pre pretty much backtracking now. I'm going to be a bit more blasé than most people will. I, you, you know, if you're only 100 hours in, 150 hours in, 
the first time you've ever been to the prison. You've got lucky, you've got a nice bit of loot. Maybe there was no one here, no, you didn't catch some poor sod swimming <laughs> back over like we did. And you've had a lot more luck with the loot than we did. See, loot has respawned. There's a bison mag there now. So it is worth checking these a second time on the way back. Yeah, that's not new though. Has our friend's body despawned? I think it might have. But you could have someone here wringing out their clothes under the tree. So don't assume. Oh my god, we've done it. We've looted the prison. Now let's just go back to the mainland and revel in all our loot. I'm trying to see if somebody's got eyes on us. What the other guy didn't do. But I could still miss something. I mean, I haven't exactly got 2020 vision. We could easily miss something. So we're just going to go for it. We could pop an epi and make this swim a lot quicker. But I'm going to save mine. I'm just going to risk it. And I'll show you what I like to do when I get over to the other side. If we manage to survive. If we don't get daisy karma I like to swim this way. I like to, instead of now power swimming as soon as my stamina goes into the white. I like to breaststroke until it goes right up full. And then power swim. It's just a preference. As if you're sprinting. I'm holding down shift and W. Power swimming. I feel like I just get further quicker. It just feels quicker to me. I might be talking rubbish. Some people will go like that and then power swim straight away as soon as they've got the ability to. Now, my, I am ready. This guy did not have his gun in his hand. Now, people will say drop your gun, put it on your back before you swim because if you get shot, you'll drop your gun. If you get shot uncon, if you get shot, shot uncon, you're in the middle of the water. You're pretty much as good as dead anyway, in my opinion. So I'd rather have the gun in my hand so I'm ready to rock. If I'm that guy earlier and I, I tr jog up here, boom, whoa, bang, I can at least fight back. Obviously, I would have popped my pants because I would have been, boom, hit. Oh, my God. His body has despawned. If I wanted to... Oh, I didn't realize there was ammo in here. If I wanted to now change my mind and pick up the Longhorn or the CR rifle, I could. But we're going to go with what we got. Take that ammo out. Thank you very much. But don't hang around. Don't rest on your laurels. I think you'll find a recurring theme in these super detailed guides are don't hang around at the, cre the scene of the crime for too long. And in that exact circumstance, if I didn't, if I didn't need to or want to show you my preferred loot route of Prison Island, I would have taken what I needed off that guy and I would have dipped. I wouldn't have gone over there. No way. Because we made noise. We fired twice with a shotgun. Anybody in that town, anyone in the town down the road would have had a very good chance of hearing it and might be now coming to investigate. They may have set an ambush for us already. So this is why I'm using this natural brow of the hill as cover. If someone is up on the rocks where we were earlier, they can't see us yet. I'm switching to my ranged weapon. If a guy pops up in front of me, I've either got to get lucky with the hip fire, or I've got to be really quick with my scope shot. Quick scope. Call of Duty days. But I'm more concerned that in a second, we are now going to be visible. And people potentially, see? Camp in the rocks, they hear the shots, they're looking for us. Where's he swimming back? Which way is he going to come from? So if I get shot and I'm lucky to see a little bit of a muzzle flash or a tracer, at least with the SSG, I can fight back. With the, the pumpy with the red slugs or even green, I've got no chance. But I'm going to keep things moving. I am not going to be stationary, if I can help it, for any time at all. I'm, I'm watching for people just sitting in a bush. Waiting for, like that bush there, waiting for us. Scanning the tops of the rocks. But also, I want to make a move. I'm switching to the close range now. If someone pokes their head out from the rocks when we get over the other side, the buckshot should be okay then from that range. We're going to get forced into a... No. See? This time we didn't get forced into the swim animation. That's what I was expecting first time round. 
switch back to the SSG. Because now I think I need range if someone's camping on top of the hillside. And I'll show you exactly where I like to go, regardless of whether we've had any action over on the island. I'm just looking for a can of soda, but I'm not tabbing in to check. I want to visibly check. Doesn't seem to be anything there. I'm looking down the coast. Can I see any movement? No. I want to cross the train tracks, but head on a swivel. And I want to keep moving. If someone has been keeping eyes, looking for me, looking to get an easy kill when we swim back, I want to make that shot difficult for them. So I'm zigzagging a bit. Check it behind me. Checking this hillside, because this is where I want to go. I want to go up this hillside. Risky if we've been spotted, because we can now be easily flanked through the trees. So be wary of that. Looking down on the road, looking at the coast. Can I see someone running? Can I see smoke from that green moustache? No. I'm looking for a reasonably a reasonable sized tree or bush to catch my breath. And you know what I'm going to say next. So ring out the clothing. Now you could go prone, yes, but as soon as you try to ring out your clothing, it will force you into a crouch position. So it is what it is. You're a bit vulnerable, but at least we're in a bush. We're away from the coast. If someone has seen us and is specifically following us, we're probably going to get shot in the back. But I still want to ring up my clothing. My hydration has dropped to yellow, so there's a chance of us catching a cold. Remember I said earlier, you want to keep all your vitals in the white to, to give yourself the best chance of staying healthy. Ring out your clothes. Take that time. Normally you wouldn't be speaking to yourself like I am, so I could be listening to someone creeping on me potentially. And after we've wrung out our clothes, we're going to use the SSG to scope down on the town. We might not be able to see a lot from this range, but we'll be able to see more than if we hadn't bothered. And if we manage to not get clipped in the next eight minutes or so, or however long's left on the video, off screen, I'd prob well, I'd probably leave the character here and then we would see if we can get down to West Evac, the military tents, which are just the other side of this town. If we weren't to loot or stop at the well at all, it would probably take you 10 minutes to get there from here. Maybe 15. No more than 10, really. If you know where you're going. But hopefully we get a chance to show you that in the next sort of intermediate detailed walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed that little trip around the prison. If you get a Chernogorsk spawn, you manage to get some food, maybe a pumpy, a couple of bits and pieces, I would highly recommend it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, high chance of bumping into someone there. And what do we see? Some poor sod swimming over. We got the drop on him. You've got to take your chances when they hand themselves to you on a plate like that in Daisy. We almost fumbled. Didn't put him down with the first shot. Thankfully got him with the second, the poor soul. And I'm just chilling. Someone might have been waiting for us to cross because they heard the shots and now they're thinking, oh damn, we might have missed them. Chance of a military convoy there as well, believe it or not, because there's one just by there. Possible, so... On other servers, I've seen a police crash convoy there as well, so keep an eye out. And I'm basically looking to see if I can see a fire. Can I see someone crossing the street, in and out of houses, maybe looting for food? Can I see smoke from a fire? There is a hunting shop in this town. We just about make it out. There, there it is. That's the hunting store. And the well is around here somewhere. But for my hydration, just for a second, and to take a little bit of space off our inventory and a bit of weight off our stamina, I'm going to get rid of these sardines. Because if you look, we can go prone while we're eating. Gives us three arrows up on hydration. So if we thought this town was a little bit too hot, 
and we didn't want to risk hitting the well, we can swerve it completely now and head to the military. Maybe in the next video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Would you like me to do something completely different? Go to a complete different part of Shinaris? Unfortunately, I haven't got admin, so I can't just teleport. <laughs> While we're so close to West Evac, I feel it would be good to show you what beautiful objects you might be able to get down there. So I'm going to love you and leave you. I said it at the beginning. I'm going to say it again. Please consider a like. Drop in a sub if you're not already subbed. We stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. UK time. Let me know in the comments what you've liked. Constructive criticism. Welcome. So easy to block people on this channel. I mean, uh, listen to constructive feedback on this channel. And I'll see you guys either in the stream or in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.